Minecraft project is devised as one of our rich learning projects. It covers the curriculum away from the core literacy and numeracy aspects. Really gives us a great way of integrating humanities and sciences just in the course of one term. So the whole point of the project is to develop 21st century skills, peer collaboration, problem solving, critical thinking, but then we're also ticking off um, some content descriptors as well from Mozvel. So the big focus for this one is um, global citizenship, uh, sustainability. In a way you can consider it like if you were doing a research project and you were writing it up with paper and pen, the Minecraft became the tool for showing what everyone had learnt. And it was also the site of negotiation where different groups were competing and negotiating on the space about what would happen. The Minecraft project itself is based on a science unit um, where we've looked at the, what, pos what possible causes could lead to the end of the world. Our world's ended because we haven't cared for it. So we need to move and we need to make sure that the things that have affected our world and caused it to end don't happen again. They are in charge of building our new world using Minecraft and they need to know how to create and maintain a sustainable future. They have to come to decisions about how each part of the landscape is used and try and keep the whole thing in balance. So it requires them to do a lot of really, really sophisticated research so that they can put their ideas forward to the other um, children and try and get them to vote for their idea. Kids are broken into districts and they're responsible for building the things that they need on the new planet. But there are constant restrictions in terms of sort of design brief that's set out by the Supreme Council. So those sort of blasts come out through the wiki space where the Supreme Council, who are the, the staff, send out directives that, that need to be followed. Well, what I like to do is just like kind of build massive buildings and like really detail them. Some of the stuff they create is absolutely fantastic. With 150 odd students, working one world collaboratively. They produced infrastructure, railways, viaducts, aqueducts, they produced schools, museums, farms, uh, nuclear power stations, which was a huge argument within that group as to whether or not they were allowed to build one because of the risk of something going wrong. But it's also got a really high engagement level for the students because the students themselves really have a sense of ownership and of wanting to um, take this work forward and trying to get it as you know, polished and professional as they can. Yeah.